we we see and we appreciate and we are thankful and grateful for the you know progress that we've made but that doesn't mean we should stop and we should just say okay now everything is fine and there is no discrimination there is no generalizing there is no intolerance anymore it's all gone because it's not true it's simply not true it's still ingrained in us and we are still fed the rhetoric and we still buy it and the media sells it and we gladly buy it subconsciously we buy it so this is a big problem our subconscious is constantly under attack and we are buying the rhetoric sold by the media of you know of this different level of classes between people now this is where i want to come to the solution or one of the solutions that we can do on a daily basis and how we can change this rhetoric or this stereotyping or generalizing amongst ourselves in society and if the media is not going to do it then we should do it i mean the first thing we can do is, is stop using this language and i know a lot of us use it with well intentions and very pure and good intentions we don't mean to say oh this you know x y nationality is stupid or oh this you know nationality why suck at driving you know we you might say it as just as jokes but if we really stop saying it for a while it might change and if we tell people to stop saying these things because we see the impact that it has even on our children like if we say these things amongst our children and they hear it they grow up if we're saying it between each other as as jokes but the children might take it literally and they might think that you know these group of people who come and fix the toilet and you know build the houses and do all these things they're actually you know really dumb and they're stupid and they're uneducated and that they'll always be like that and they have nothing to add in society and i should it just creates this subconscious demeaning uh, level of uh, communication and and relationship with them so this is one of the first things that we can do but then another thing we can do is that just simply treat each other treat everyone the same equally the same way we treat our friends our family people from our same nationality and culture and religion we treat everyone else the same way the same level the same way i say hello the same way i smile the same way i greet others the same interest that i give into asking someone how their day was it doesn't matter if they are someone who works in a coffee shop or at a gas station or if they are someone who comes and fixes my you know my toilet everyone if you treat everyone the same they will feel it they will feel it inside that you know how we are presenting ourselves our body language our tone everything the how genuine we are when we ask them how they are it all makes a difference and one person can make a difference and i'll give you now a story that happened to me when i was in new york i was staying with a friend and his house was on the upper east side in front of his house just across the street there was a kosher jewish uh, place and they had my friend told me that they have the best falafel in in new york so i had to try it it was a very you know s- s- typical um Jewish uh, kosher shop they had the star of david and they had like all these uh, hebrew writings and it was even the menu they had like hebrew and english if i remember correctly i think they had hebrew and english and uh, the guys who were working there were, were were jewish as well so me being an arab and muslim or raised in an arab and muslim country i did not think twice about going there and, and buying from them or supporting their business which is what many people think that arabs and muslims you know boycott jewish uh, businesses just because for the fact that they're jewish so this is not true and i'm saying this and i have many israeli friends yes israeli and i'm using the term israeli as a nationality uh, because they are israeli they are born in israel and they have a, a, a nationality and they might be jewish they might be christian they might be muslim they might be an atheist so this doesn't matter so there's a difference between someone being an israeli and someone being a zionist there are two different things just because if the israeli government has a zionist agenda or you know does uh, promote zionism doesn't mean that all israelis are the same 
So yeah, I, had, I want to put that out in the way because it's about stereotyping and generalizing in which the media rhetoric has, has sold to us. It's not true. Zionism and, and Israel are two different things.